Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Real Life Friday video, life's messy and hopefully I've got something to help us clean it up. Struggling to keep that grout clean on your tile floors is not only added pressure to your knees, but back-breaking labor. Do you struggle with cleaning hard-to-reach areas? Gathering all the supplies and a ladder is not only cumbersome, but could be dangerous. Trying to save money by washing your car at home can not only be a huge hassle, but a mess that is not worth it. Say goodbye to all of those problems and more with the 8-in-1 Electronic Cleaning Brush. So, today we are going to be testing the 8-in-1 Electric Cleaning Brush. Now, this was sent to me by a company named LaFree. They sent me an email saying, we believe that your unique style and influence can greatly contribute to the success of our promotional campaigns. Well, that's awfully nice of you guys for thinking that, so thank you. And basically, they wanted to send me the spin brush in hopes that I would test it and do a video on it. So, you know, I sent them my normal reply, what have you, saying, yeah, send it on over, I'll check it out. So, they did just that. Now, you know, just because they sent me the spin brush does not mean this is a collaboration. I'm not getting paid. They're not sponsoring this video. This is not an ad. Just like I always do, someone sends me something. We're gonna test it. Does it work? Does it not work? We're gonna find out on today's Real Life Friday video. So I am currently on their Amazon link. Electronic spin, scrubber, cordless scrubber, cleaning brush with seven replacement brush heads, two speed power scrubber brush for bathroom, tub, floor, car, tile. It is regularly $69.99, but right now it's on sale for $47.99, which $69.99, $70 for a spin brush seems outrageous. $47 also seems outrageous. So let's kind of dive into why it is so expensive. It has 400 slash 450 RPM, two speeds, seven replacement heads, 12 to 54 inches adjustable length, and it is IPX4 waterproof. I don't know what that means. It also says it has a stronger motor, copper motor, more durable, faster speed, larger battery capacity, and a sleek design. It has a scrubber, extend rods, eight brush heads, one USB cable, and a user manual. Okay. Can work under taps and in shallow water. And the picture literally has it not all the way submerged in water, but pretty close to being all the way submerged in water. So we might have to test that. For bathtub and tile, for sinks, for grout, for corners, for furniture polishing, for windows and showers, and for kitchen stains. All right, so here it is. It does say fast charge in three hours, used consistently for 90 minutes. So hopefully there's some charge in this because otherwise I'm gonna have to charge it for three hours and you know that's never fun, I never like to do that. Now on this side, it says there's a large brush for living room floor use, a small brush, clean glass hood for use, pointed brush, used when cleaning corner, cloth, clean the window, sponge, clean the table. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at how they boarded all of this. Fiber brush, cleaning heavy oil stains, and a connecting seat. So let's open her up. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, dun, 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 dun. Oh, one more, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here it is. So we do have the instruction manual and now we have all of our brushes. So this one kind of looks like a microfiber one. This one looks like an SOS pad or like a Brillo pad. It's kind of firm. Then we have one that's, you know, like a 
fur coat. Then there's this one that's very spongy. We've got this brush that kind of comes up to like a dome or a point. Then this brush that's just flat. And we've got this ginormous brush. I mean, if anything, we can maybe use it as a back scrubber. Here is the seating plate. So for things like this, this has Velcro right here so that this just Velcros right to that and stays on. Oh, stays on so firmly that the Velcro almost peeled off. So there's that. Then we've got our USB charger and we've got the poles, two parts. So this obviously screws into this. And then this extends out like so. So, I mean, that's the reach. I mean, I guess it's 54 inches, but yeah, not super long. And when you have it pulled out, there's this little nubbin right here that you turn to off. So off does lock the pole, so it doesn't retract back into itself. So there's that. And then we have the cleaning brush, brush part. Let's see. It's charged, and that's where we plug in our USB to charge it more. So when I hit the power on, I have three blue lights, and it looks like there might be four blue lights total. So I'm guessing that's how much charge you have left. So, all right, let's figure out what we're gonna clean. So I'm perusing the manual. So apparently, this giant one, we can only use it when we're cleaning the bathroom. It clearly states right here, bathroom cleaning. And then this little one is for kitchen cleaning. And this one is for corner cleaning. Don't try to clean a flat surface with this because it's only for corners, you guys. Don't get it twisted. That is only for corners. This one is only for windows. If you touch a mirror, if you touch any glass surface other than a window, that's it. You've ruined it. You've ruined the entire spin brush. Then the furry one, polishing and waxing. The one that looks like a Brillo pad is for heavy oil stain in kitchen. If you have that heavy oil stain anywhere else, this won't work. It only will work on heavy oil in the kitchen. This one that's for the sponge is only for your car. Only for your car. Keep that in mind. So, now that we know what all of the brushes are for, we're supposed to charge the machine for two hours before use to ensure that the machine is fully charged. Well, I'm gonna see how long this charge lasts right out of the box. That's what we're gonna test. I kinda wanna do some of this grout in this tile here because, you know, I'm not the first one to live in this house and even though the grout looks like maybe they used a dark brown, I'm gonna kinda have to go with that they probably didn't and it was probably like a light beige or something, but over the years has just turned dark brown. Plus, I also have some paint on my tile floor that I wanna see if it can get up and we'll figure out somewhere else to clean too. Maybe the windows. So I'm not gonna lie, I am a filthy, messy pig. These floors in the sunroom, the floors throughout my whole house, they're completely filthy. And I can admit it, it's fine. I've been busy, I haven't mopped. But even when you do mop your tile floor, the mopping while cleaning the surface of the tile floor never really gets the grout clean. To clean the grout, I always feel like I have to get on my hands and knees and use a toothbrush, and hopefully this little spin brush thing with its little attachment will make it so we don't have to get on our hands and knees anymore. So, here's what I got. I just got some water. There's nothing in it. The Tupperware bowl is just stained from like pasta. This is just water. I wanna test the spin brush with just water alone, and then I did bring in some Comet with bleach in case the water just does nothing and we need to put a cleaning agent on the grout. Okay, so for the grout, I was kind of wanting to use this one, the brush that comes more to a point, but I figured maybe we should just use this flat one. So I'm gonna grab this. Here's my little wand head and we're just gonna put that on. It's very easy on off. It doesn't necessarily like lock into place or anything. It's just there's a little shape on the inside of this that matches the shape there. So you just pop it in. So now that that's on, let's take our handle and I want to extend it to its most longest, that's it, its most longest extension. And then I'm gonna turn it to the off position See, the off position doesn't really lock it. I feel like you have to off and turn. Ugh. 
All right, that seems locked. Now we will screw this into here. And now I'm gonna get off my knees and we're gonna scrub some grout. Okay, so no judgment. My grout's gross, my floors are gross, everything is gross. But it's perfect that they're gross because we're gonna use this new 8-in-1 spin brush to clean them right up. So right here is where we're working. I think I just wanna use water and we'll see how that goes. So I'm standing up, let's turn it on. Dip it in water and scrub. And I'm standing upright, but kind of a little bent over because if I stand fully upright, I don't feel like I'm getting very much pressure. Nothing's really happening with the water alone. Oh, let's put it on high. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I think we need a strong cleaning agent. I mean, I guess. Upon closer inspection, it looks like some of the dirt has come out, but let's put some comment on it. A little sprinkle. All right, let's try again. Low power, high power. Okay, let's rinse. All right, I'm gonna take my towel and wipe away the water. And I guess we can tell a difference. I only went like halfway in each quadrant so that we could see like clean versus dirty. It'll probably be better to see this when the grout's dry. Hold on, let's wait for this to dry and see if we can tell a difference. Because right here, I'm thinking we can't really tell that big of a difference. So I let the grout dry and it's definitely cleaner. Like this is definitely more beigey white compared to the black grout out that's right here and same here. I'll take a before picture of just another area of the black grout and then we'll compare it with the after, but let me bring you guys in for a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about. So clearly not clean and that's where I started cleaning and then that's where I continue to clean and then that's not clean, obviously. Yeah, it was much easier to stand up and use the spin brush than it was to be on my hands and knees with a toothbrush. It's not as clean as I would like it. You can see there's still some dirt remnants caught in the pores of the grout, but the overall look, I mean, from that to that, much better. Now, this right here, this little bit right here, it kind of runs across to here. That is actually wood stain from when I stained the outdoor palette bar in my sunroom. That is stain that I have not cleaned up yet. So let's see how the spin brush does on that. I'm gonna take a before and then we'll take an after of this exact square. Okay, I put you kind of far back because I also wanted you to see how much I actually have to bend over. So the extension rod's fully extended. You really have to like pull and twist and really make sure it's locked in. But fully extended, I'm gonna try to stand as upright as possible. I just don't feel like you can get enough pressure. I don't know, I feel like I have to be like, kind of like this to get any pressure on it. This is a floor cleaner, but you know, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little comet right there. I wanna be able to scan like this, you know, maybe wash my phone or whatever, but it just doesn't feel pressury enough to me. All right. Well, it definitely cleaned the tile. No more stain mark. Everything looks nice and pristine. Let's take an after picture. And just for fun, so you could actually see how filthy my tile floor is. Um, one of these things is not like the other. Can you pick out the tile I just cleaned compared to the tiles I didn't clean? Yeah, that's disgusting. Okay, so clearly the spin brush portion works. Would I recommend cleaning your entire tile floor with just that little spin brush? No, but for the grout, it is pretty good. But I do wanna do some other tests, like maybe in the bathroom, maybe the shower tile, something with the extender arm. Maybe we'll clean some windows. So yeah, let's run a few more tests, because right now I'm not convinced that this is worth 
$47.99. And that's the sale price. I'm certainly not convinced that it's worth $69.99 by any stretch of the imagination. But let's do some more tests. We are in the bathroom now because one thing I hate is when I'm trying to clean the shower and I feel like there's no other choice but for me to strip down naked, get in the shower while I'm cleaning the shower. And I'm hoping that since this has a lovely little arm on it, we will be able to stand outside of the shower, fully clothed, and get all of the tile surround and the bathtub. I think for that, we should try this big brush. So I'm going to put it on. Let's open up the shower. Now I haven't looked in the shower in a while. I don't know how dirty it is. It's not horribly bad, but it could stand a cleaning. So I've got some spray cleaner and I'm going to spray it along the back of the shower surround. And then with my arm, now I did double make sure the arm was fully, fully, so it's not going to move. High power. I'm gonna stand outside the shower. I mean, I like it. I'm getting all this tile back here and I'm not having to bend down. That's nice. Yeah, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. All right, next let's clean inside of the bathtub without having to get on our hands and knees. So let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna get the bathtub wet. Let's get some cleaner. And let's get to scrubbing. Okay, awesome. Now I'm gonna try the corner brush. All right, corner brush attachment is on, and let's see. I'm gonna pick up some cleaner, and then, oh, yeah. Awesome, I don't mind that at all. Okay, so far I'm liking it. It is making quick work of cleaning the tile surround. Standing up, and using the extension arm to me seems great. However, I still am having an issue with the length of the handle and like the strongness of the handle. When I'm doing anything on the floor, I do feel like I need to bend over just a little bit to give me more oomph, a little more elbow grease. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm barely like skimming. Even the brush is spinning, I feel like, you know, you need to be like, ugh, like that. So we don't have to use the stick every time. We can just use this part by itself. And I wanna do that because I've got a hard water stain in this bathtub. And I wanna use, I'm hoping, this Brillo pad. So fingers crossed I don't ruin my bathtub even more. But they say that this is for like oil spills or what have you, and it's like a Brillo pad. I wanna use it on the Velcro thing, and I wanna do it handheld so I can really get into that spot. So let me show you the spot. See it all around the drain? Gross! Let's see if that Brillo pad can take it off. Let's put some soft cleanser with bleach all around there. Turn her on. High power mode. Hey, why did it stop? It's a little unwieldy. Like, it has a mind of its own. So if you can get it to stay in the spot that you want it on, it's pretty good. Let's rinse. Well, on the plus side, it didn't ruin the tub scrubbing it with this. The water spot did come off a little bit, just not like right around the drain. There's still a little bit of water spot left. If I wanted to spend more time on it, I could probably get it off. I actually don't mind using this with my hand, so I kind of like it a little bit better than on the pole. But again, I am on my knees. If I kept it on the stick, would I be able to get as much downward pressure to actually scrub it. 
So I'm standing fully straight and holding it with two hands and it's like, no, it just does whatever. I do have to bend down and like get some pressure in order to kind of make this, why does it stop? I might be low on battery. Okay, I know this is gonna be a little excessive, but now that our bathtub is clean, let's try to clean our mirror with this. Boom, like so. I'm gonna leave it on the extension handle and we're just gonna go for it. Cause you know, I don't wanna have to lean over like this. I wanna be able to clean my mirror from, you know, standing straight up. So I wanna see how gentle. Not too bad. This did leave a little bit of lint, but I'm sure it's because it's brand new and we've never used it before. It's leaving swirl marks in the mirror. Let's try it again. Because again, maybe I'm gonna spray the cl glass cleaner onto this pad. Huh, I know you guys won't be able to see it, but there are little like swirl marks. And don't say it's my glass cleaner, cause I love this glass cleaner and it works really great, but hmm, maybe it's just because this is the first time we're using this. But it is leaving lint and a little bit of swirl mark. Huh, don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so I've moved on to the kitchen because aside from this like polisher, the furry one. The only attachment we have left to test is the sponge. Now, I clean my sink out with a sponge every time I clean it out. So, I'm gonna test this sponge and see how it holds up. Now, I did shrink the pole down to its shortest. So this is as short as it gets, which is probably a little excessive for cleaning the sink. I can still reach fairly high ceilings are pretty low, but even in the shortest mode, it still does reach pretty high. Now, we can get this wet a little bit. We can't submerge it fully, but it can get wet. You don't wanna submerge it past this where the, your charger goes, but I'm gonna keep the water running in the sink and let this get all splashed up and see how it goes. All right, here's the sink, no judgment. It's pretty stained. I don't know what to do about it. But let's turn on some water. Let's put in some Comet. Let's start it up. And I'm gonna freely let the water hit wherever it wants to hit. I mean, that seems fine. And the sponge seems super durable, but I do wanna see if I can scrub a little bit of the stain off with our Brillo pad. Now I can hear it struggling. Keep in mind, I did not charge this. This is right out of the box. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This feels like a Brillo pad, but I don't know how good it would do on oil stains. So yeah, there's that. Aside from the polisher, we tested every other attachment. All of the attachments work fine to me. I'm neither here nor there about the attachments, but what I am here nor there about, I have an issue with this handle. I don't think it is strong enough. I think that the lock and on and making sure this doesn't move because when this part is moved to the on position, this moves freely. If I move this to the off position, I can still move this. It is harder to move, but I can still move it. So any sort of pressure you put on it, it moves it. The only way it doesn't move it is if you can twist this really tight like you would for like a shower curtain, you know, those like expandable rods, then it is secure. I don't know, it's just so finicky. I'm not a huge fan. It's not necessarily long enough for if you wanted to clean something on the floor, but wanted to remain standing upright to take pressure off of your lower back. My floors need some elbow grease. I have to bend over. And I claim 5'7", but I'm probably like 5'6 and a half, but we'll call it 5'7". So if you're any taller than me, good luck. You're bending over like totally hinged at the waist. Now for windows, cleaning windows, I think the extension is nice. You can get into hard to reach spots, but for anything on the floor, I don't think it's gonna save your back at all because I just don't think this is firm enough or maybe weighted enough to give you enough elbow grease to remain standing straight. I actually 
actually think I would much prefer not using the handle at all unless I was cleaning my windows outside, maybe using this on my car. Maybe I would put the extender um, handle on then, but I think I much prefer just the handheld portion of it because the spin action does like really get something clean. I mean, you saw with the tile, with the grout, with my hard water stain in the bathtub. I think that works great. My other issue that I have is, let's just say I use it so much, I've washed all my cars, I've washed all my windows, and now this sponge is dust. Maybe I've used this so much, it's no longer a cone, all the bristles are splayed out. You get where I'm going with this. Where can I buy more attachments? Or do I have to buy the whole thing all over again? So I was just quickly looking. I didn't put in a bunch of time, but on the Amazon link that LaFree sent me, it was just for the spin brush. They also sent me a link to their actual website. So LaFree.net. And in the search bar of their website, I typed in spin brush attachment. The only thing that came up was the entire kit. So on their website, it's actually $52.99, but if you go to their Amazon page, it's on sale for $47.99. And regular price on their Amazon page is $69.99. None of that makes sense to me. And still, that leaves me with, what if I break an attachment? What if the sponge gets all jacked up? What if I want an outdoor set and an indoor set? I don't necessarily want to be cleaning grease and oil stains with this and then use the same one to clean my bathtub and my sink. So yeah, hmm. All in all, while I am super grateful that LaFree sent me this eight in one spin brush to test out, I just, for the price, if I didn't get it sent to me to test, I don't think that I would purchase it. At $47.99, at $52.99, at $69.99, I don't think I would purchase it. While it's cool and the attachments are cool, I just don't know how many times I'm gonna reach for it. Unless I'm like, wow, you really need to spend some time and clean all of your grout, I might reach for it then. Mm, it's probably time you clean your windows. Rather than getting out a step stool or a ladder, I might reach for it then. But aside from those times, I don't really know how often I would reach for it. Minus just using this for like a hard to scrub stain, just because of the spin action. I thought that this was pretty powerful. The two speeds make it nice. The fact that it's cordless is nice. But again, I have an issue with the extension handle and I have an issue with where do I get the attachments if I just want separate ones? I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you purchase this from the Amazon link that I will put in the description just in case? But would you purchase it for $47.99? Do you think it's cool? Do you think that it will help you with any back issues, high reach issues? Could you see yourself buying it? And if you could see yourself buying it, could you see yourself actually using it? So there you have it, and there it is. The 8-in-1 electric cleaning brush. We tested it. It worked, but now I'm just curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Real Life Friday videos I push out, which is every other Friday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out. I think that's good.